I've always had a very keen sense of smell, which can be somewhat problematic when you're passing through the fragrance aisle. Enigma. What the fuck? Ah! Or putting away your kid's stinky sneakers. And the feet smell hit me in the face Ooh. and my eyelash extensions fell out. <laughs> and man, it was brutal when I was pregnant with twins. You know, your heightened level of estrogen produces an increased sensitivity to strong odors. But the upside is that I find that certain scents, especially essential oils, can make me feel fantastic. What is that amazing smell? I spoke to Lather founder Emily Hoyt, who told me about the essential oils that can help you sleep better, find your focus, and put you in the mood. Hello, Next Drive. I am Cheryl Kramer Kay, and I am here today with Emily Hoyt. She is the founder of Lather, a brand I have used for many years. Emily, what is Lather? Well, thank you, Cheryl, for asking. Lather is a company that I started in 1999, and we focus on bringing, bringing the best, unique, natural ingredients from around the world into hair, body, face, and self-wellness care. Ooh. <laughs> One of the things that you are very passionate about, um, because we have done stories together before, I happen to know this, um, is essential oils and natural fragrance versus synthetic fragrance. Right. Feel free to have a rant. So we have chosen with our products to use essential oils or other plant-based um, oils or materials for the fragrance or for the aroma of our product. Mm. Um, many other companies choose to use synthetic fragrance. If your product contains the word fragrance or perfume, that means it there is any number of ingredients in there. And for some people with sensitivities, they may know they have a particular ingredient to stay away from, but if the word fragrance is on there, it might be in there. So How it's do you something know? Is there a way to know? It's not regulated. So fragrance is considered a trade secret um, for the companies, and they're not allowed. They do not have to disclose what they put in that word. It can be up to there's four thousand different agents, um, some of which are perfectly fine, uh, completely non-harmful, right? Um, and some of which can cause. Um, distress to a lot of people. You know, something to keep in mind with the perfume industry and all of us, our emotions are very tied to smell. Very so much. if your mom, your grandma wore a certain perfume, it's only natural that when you smell that, you have wonderful feelings and wonderful memories. Depends on your is, mother and your grandma. Well, it actually. does. Mommy! What do you think you're doing? That being said, there's some great alternatives. Um, just before we get started, I want to confess that I am often a synthetic girl. Um, but I know, you're just so fake. I am. Oh my god, I'm as superficial as they come. <laughs> there's no depth. But I can tell the difference between a natural scent and a synthetic scent. There's a way that my right. body reacts right. to a natural that I just go, oh, this is good. Think about an apple or a strawberry and then think about an apple or a strawberry candy so, oh my god right it's a big difference it is a huge Even difference the flavoring is never going to be quite the same right so we're going to talk today about the three essential oils that you need as you get older let's start with i'm gonna say it, lavender and I know everybody's heard it and it's used everywhere and you think you know it, but I wanna talk a little bit about why I think it's important as, as we get older. I don't know about you, but my sleep is so on and off and it, it can be very disruptive to either not be able to fall asleep or not be able to stay asleep and sleep really deep. And lavender is one tried and true ingredient that you can turn to 
and not only count on it helping you relax and helping you fall asleep, but also being part of sleep hygiene, which is making sure you develop good habits so that you are signaling to your body to sleep. Um, so you can find lavender in many a products. This is a product that we carry, which is a pillow mist. It's quiet night pillow mist. And what I enjoy about this is you can use this everywhere. I spray it on my puppy's bed. I spray it on um, also like a little cloth and keep it in my car. The nice thing about lavender is if you were to get essential oils, which you can get everywhere, um, you can actually, you wanna be very careful with essential oils not to get them on your skin. You wanna use a carrier oil or a different um, type of product, even a bath salt or, or whatever, but many times it can be irritating because they're very powerful to the skin. Lavender, you don't need to worry about. If you spill a jar in lavender all over your arms, your hands, you're gonna be fine. And so it's also one of the most safest. <laughs> all right, so that's about going to bed. Yes. What about in the morning? So my favorite is spearmint. Spearmint helps you focus, it helps you get moving. It's an awakening and an alerting and a stimulating oil. We have this avocado mint hair repair that uses spearmint. And what I love about it is that, what you smell it? <laughs> that it's tingly when it's on and it almost like awakens the tippy top of your scalp. The, Emil, you said that the third essential oil is something a little bit sexier. <laughs> Yes, um, definitely for wanting to have that feeling of comfort, warmth, and longing to be close to someone special, my favorite is Ylang Ylang. Ylang Ylang is going to make you feel centered and loved, confident, and wanting to be as close as you can to someone. So when you're headed in for that special evening, I really suggest a massage oil. Do you have a massage oil with Ylang Ylang? In all of our stores, we have blending bars, and you can come in, and we have made a number of Ylang Ylang special massage oils. I love that <laughs> idea. Emily Hoyt. Thank you. You know I'm a lot of shit. <laughs> That's what they all say. <laughs> <laughs>